Okay. I want to see what these guys do. Okay, it's an actual fight. Oh, it's just four of them. I thought it was maybe like a map event thing, like they pushed me off the, uh, I don't know, the track there, uh, down below or something. Uh, it'll be nice when Mario or Gino gets, uh, oh, okay, oh, okay, uh, it just happened to be four bob bombs. Uh, I guess there's, uh, four bob bomb fights. Yeah, so Gino does, or uh, Mallow does decent-ish damage now. He's not the highest hitter, but uh, not too bad. Uh, no, I didn't want to jump on that. I can. Okay, he can't fall off. see what I got though. Uh, wasn't a flower tab anyway, so I was probably a, just a syrup or something. Oh, it's the uh, boss, I guess. Oh, there's the star, I think. Uh, Anyways, I guess we're uh, pretty much healed up and everything, so I'll just have a look around for hidden items. Okay, uh, I gotta get him from behind. Mario or Gino had a uh, hit all attack, I could probably wipe out most uh, encounters on the first go. Yeah, Mario's uh, special attacks won't be doing any more than just his regular attack. flower points. Uh, I think it's probably important that I keep G uh, Mallow uh, Thunderbolting. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm not sure what that uh, stat spec is. I like how he digs it out with his hat. Why is everybody shivering? Okay, maybe it's reduced damage that seemed to do uh, less. Oh yeah, it's. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's reduced damage. I need Valo to be uh, doing full damage. Probably, I shouldn't have done that. Well, I should have had Mallow heal Mallow with HP rain. Uh, so I could get fully heals. I hope Mallow eventually gets a heal everybody move. is gone, I guess.
Right, this must not be a terribly long game, because I just got the second star, like, I don't know, an hour ago. Maybe it's like an hour or so per star. So I know like the Paper Mario games, you you know, usually there's some like sub areas you do before you get the star, and there's a lot more running around and stuff. That was in the air, okay. Okay, uh, that's what's going on. I gotta slow down on the uh, corners. green coin or something on the tracks. This is taking me uh, in the right direction. I'm not supposed to be like, uh, you know, finding my way or whatever, and I'm just going around in circles or something.
Item trading uh, sequence, I guess. Uh, so we're all healed. Let's all head to the next area. Booster pass. Isometric view uh, mixed me up. It would also be nice if Mallow got a, uh, a target single enemy. Uh, Spell or whatever. Okay, that guy's camouflage worked. I didn't even uh, try targeting him. I didn't know there was an enemy there. going on with the other games I've played, uh, last console, or second last console, uh, N64, uh, uh, well, I guess I did mention I was playing Mario 64 in VR, uh, although that's, uh, uh, on PC using Dolphin through that, so, uh, I don't know how much you can say it's N64, uh, 
but after that there's uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, which I think I mentioned in my uh, McBat uh, playthrough. But uh, yeah, I played Diddy Kong Racing, finally. Uh, I didn't have it as a kid, I had uh, Mario Kart 64. But uh, one of my friends did have Diddy Kong Racing. I remember, I think it was probably his birthday party or something. Uh, every, you know, we had like four players going, uh, just playing Diddy Kong Racing the whole time, uh, multiplayer. Uh, that was back like when it came out, so quite a while ago. Uh, and I haven't played it since then, but uh, yeah, I did want to uh, try playing it again sometime. Uh, so yeah, I played through it. Uh, okay, level 10 they get new techs, and Gino at 8. Uh, oh, next level. Okay, Gino's gonna get attack after the uh, her new special after the next battle. Oh, that's an enemy. Uh, anyways, yeah, Diddy Kong Racing. It was uh, uh, it was pretty good. I like the I think the multiplayer is better than. Uh, I know it's got like a fairly extensive single player, but uh, I found it just to be kind of tedious. Uh, you do a lot of just doing the same race over and over again, but you know, having to get coins or whatever. And, uh, I really would have rather if there was just like a Grand Prix mode or whatever. Uh, Alright, got us a new special. I don't know if there's like a best way of leveling up in this or not. Uh, yeah, so, you know, Diddy Kong Racing, I, I think it's a better multiplayer game than, uh... Okay. Uh... It's a better multiplayer game, I think. Uh, didn't really care too much for the single player stuff. Uh, it was neat to see uh, Banjo in it, though, before he kind of. I think that was before Banjo Kazooie came out. Do I get Peach on my team eventually? I'm not sure. It's like Wario in the door. You know, it's one thing I've kind of thought about uh, that it's kind of odd. Nintendo hasn't really ever done a mainline crossover game uh, like in the style of one of its existing games uh, like I know they've done like Smash Bros and Mario Kart and stuff like that uh, but I'm surprised they've never done like a you know Mario game that has like Kirby in it as well like you know you can change you know like uh, I don't know something like Mario new Super Mario World but you can pick like Kirby characters as well, like Kirby and Meta Knight, uh, and then like Mario and Luigi and some others. <laughs> Alright, I got Bowser. Uh, I guess. I'm guessing you just go in the menu here.
Alright, so there's no, uh... No other, uh, mechanics involved. I like Malo's multi-hit thing, and Bowser is cool, so I'll swap out Gino. I'm assuming Gino must have a bigger role in the story eventually, because people like like him and stuff, but so far he hasn't really done anything. So it's odd that they haven't done a, uh, you know, like a new Super Mario Bros. and Kirby game or something, you know, where you, uh, you know, Bowser and DDD team up or something, and Mario and Kirby team up to stop them. Uh, or like a Zelda Samus game or something would be cool. Or like a, you know, Mario Donkey Kong game where, you know, Mario and Donkey Kong are in the same world, and like Bowser and uh, K. Rule are fighting or something. I don't know, it just seems like something that they would have done by now, because they've got so many kind of mainline properties that they... they just never mix them around. The uh, the last uh, kind of console I played uh, is your Switch. Uh, that was uh, probably the most of any console by far. Uh, I guess to start was uh, New Super Lucky's Tale. I got that for Christmas last year. Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty good. Uh, it wasn't like my favorite or anything. Uh, there's, you know, it was a bit kind of linear for my liking for 3D platformers. Uh, but you know, it's still good. Uh, I think the original is like a VR one or something. I'm not sure. Uh, See, so yeah, I just I beat it. Uh, you, you know, I just kind of went through and uh, beat it as quick as I could. Uh, I didn't end up doing too much like side stuff or 100%ing it or anything. Next was uh, Animal Crossing, of course. Uh, of course, I played that this year. Uh, yeah, it was. I don't know. I think the Animal Crossing games are fun, but not good, really. They're uh, they've got like a lot of problems. Like they're you know there's I don't know, I probably talked about this before, but they're they're just so incredibly slow, and everything takes way longer than it should, and uh, things like the crafting system's kind of annoying, it just slows everything down. Uh, like, the whole thing is, you know, it's kind of like a mobile game or something, it's really trying to stretch out the time that you play it. 
Oh, and I don't really care for all the, you know, come back every day to play for an hour uh, thing. Uh, but it, you know, I think if Animal Crossing games were like a common genre, uh, then I, I don't think it would be as well regarded. Uh, I think it's because basically it has no competition or anything. Uh, it's kind of similar to like uh, that's how I feel about Pokemon Go. You know, it's it's popular and it, you know people like it, but it's not really that good. And uh, you know, it's got a lot of problems, but it just there's nothing else like it. So yeah. Uh, but you know, Animal Crossing, yeah, it's charming and everything. Uh, it's yeah, and it was nostalgic to play through because I did. Uh, that was like the one of the first games I got on the GameCube, I think. Uh, I don't remember if it was the first one, but it was pretty early on. I rem I really remember like getting it on Christmas. I don't remember if I got my GameCube at the time, uh, at, like at the same time. But uh, yeah, I played a ton of it back then, and so it was nice. Yeah, I haven't played another Animal Crossing since then, so it was nice doing that. Uh, Yeah, and so I just I played it for like a month or two, uh, you know, did a bunch of stuff, bought all, got all the, you know, maxed out all my bells pretty much with turnips. Uh, it did a couple of the uh, uh, holidays that happened in that time, uh, and then just kind of, you know, realized that after that it was getting kind of boring. It was just you know daily login mine all the rocks, uh, get wood from all the trees and so on, and it just, it was a huge time sink, so I was just like, okay, this is, uh, I'm done, and so I haven't played it really since, uh, I know there's been other, uh, updates to it and stuff, and, uh, uh, holidays, but, uh, I, I don't know, I just don't really feel the need to go back to it. Next was uh, Pocket Mini Golf on the uh, Switch. Uh, it's an eShop game. Uh, there was two mini golf games I played on the Switch: that and uh, Golf Peaks. Uh, okay, I gotta check booster pass. Afterwards, I guess. Uh, Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know if there's something I was supposed to do there, or if it's just a little Easter egg. Uh, yeah, if so I played Golf Peaks and Pocket Mini Golf, uh, I can't remember which was which, but I didn't think they were either that good. Uh, one of them was really bad. It was like very obviously like mobile. Uh, you know, you only get so many lives, and then you've got to restart from the beginning. But you can like grind uh, gems or whatever to get lives, and uh, like there was no payments or anything. But it was just it. It really seemed like a mobile game. Like I could just imagine it being. Uh, you know. You, pay a dollar for every life or something like that. Then there was uh, Animus. Animus was, uh, it was okay. It's basically like Dark Souls boss rush. And like you just, uh, you do like a very, very short linear level where you just fight a couple guys basically in a hallway. Uh, and then you fight a boss. Uh, and it's, you know, very Dark Souls style combat. Uh, 
Uh, it has a very kind of weird loot grinding kind of system, though. Uh, there's a lot of bosses where basically you're just not gonna... Okay, can't beat him or anything. Uh, there's a lot of bosses where you're just not gonna beat them at, this, at the start, and you'll just have to go and... Uh, grind until you get like the you know plus or plus five elemental sword or whatever that they are weak against uh, and you know, it is very very uh, cheap looking like it's uh, it looks kind of like a ps2 game uh, and it's got like these crazy like long load times at certain points like for like the menu and stuff. Uh, oh, okay. I should have paid more attention at the uh, opening area because uh, it had a list of them all. Okay, uh, it's over here. Uh, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go first. I don't know if this is just a, uh, side thing. brought up a guide. Uh, I clicked on the wrong one there. I meant to click on the other guy. Uh, anyways, I got a guide here. I don't really feel like going all the way back in the starting room and writing it down. This isn't the uh, boss or anything. Thank you. 
Alright, that's good. Oh, that was worth it. Yeah, so I think uh, I didn't end up beating Animus just because it was, it's just very grindy. You, you know, there's lots of similar bosses and kind of like pallet swaps and then you've got to uh, redo them uh, over and over to grind out like armor sets. And, and like the bizarre loading times, like I seem to remember it, you know, it takes like a minute to bring up the menu or something. Uh, yeah, it's like it's if you like the Dark Souls combat and you like fighting the bosses in it, then I would recommend it. Uh, but it's uh, it's otherwise it's very uh, cheap and. Yeah, it's, it's cheap and not particularly polished, but uh, it's not like a bad game or anything. to line up the uh, isometric jumps. Mallow is just naturally uh, magic resistance or resistant, or if it's just because I have uh, boosted his uh, magic attack and defense so many times. Uh, Air, Memories of Old. Uh, it's an indie game. I think it was like uh, Swiss or Sweden or I, I don't know, somewhere around there I thought. Uh, uh, but it was uh, I don't know, it's uh, kind of like a cell shading minimalistic style. It looks really cool, but uh, you basically just kind of fly around and in like this kind of air, uh, you know, air place, uh, floating islands or whatever, and uh, uh, talk to NPCs and stuff. And that's basically it. You just talk to the correct people until you figure out where to go or uh, you know, touch the right spot on the map or whatever. Uh, and that's basically all there is to it. Uh, and it's not really, uh, it doesn't tell you really that well where to go. I kept getting kind of lost and having to use a guide. And there wasn't really any, any gameplay really, it was just, you know, flying around, talking to people. Uh, uh, so yeah, like it, I don't know, it looked cool, but just, it wasn't fun to play. Uh, I, you know, maybe check out a let's play of it or something, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so after playing that, I did think, oh, like, okay, this, it wasn't that fun to play or anything, but it looked cool and, you know, had a very cool style to it. Uh, so I was kind of hoping, like, okay, maybe, maybe they did something else, uh, you know, they've got like some other game that they worked on after it or something, but uh, it seems unfortunately they, uh, the company uh, went under after that, so yeah, it's too bad. I don't 
don't know why these enemies keep uh, popping up. It's over here. Okay, I'll go in the room first, I guess. Uh, Mario. Speed up by 10. Uh, Mallow would be good to boost his speed because uh, he's the healer and also his uh, attack everyone thing is handy. one first. Please teach me on the Dari Shogi. Uh, it's basically, uh, it's a Shogi game. Uh, I've ne I'd never played Shogi and I wanted to, I don't know, try it out. Uh, it turns out it's basically just overcomplicated chess with like classes and, I don't know, class changing and, I don't know, stuff like that basically. Uh, I never really uh, got used to like remembering what each uh, piece did. I was always forgetting and having to look it up and stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, it's basically just chess, but with way more like uh, special abilities and whatever on each piece. Uh, the game. Uh, the Onidari Shogi, uh, please teach me, uh, Shogi, uh, though, uh, it's basically, there's a bunch of, I'm assuming they're, like, gravier idols or whatever, and they, Yeah, so you're playing against them, and uh, the only kind of like uh, difference with this game is that sometimes they'll like pout and like ask you if they can cheat, like you know, undo a move, or uh, you tell them where they should go or whatever. Uh, uh, and then if you let them, then they like you more, and uh, uh, as you boost up their uh, how much they like you, they give you like new like videos or whatever of them. Uh, and that's basically the only difference. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if there's any other shogi games on the uh, Switch. I know there is like there's a couple Mahjong games. Uh, that's another game I've tried and I just I don't get it at all. It's just I don't know, way too complicated. I'm gonna be turning into these dolls or something here. Oh, I see a Sam.
I didn't know both of them were gonna check at the same time. Oh, then I, I bet all three of them are gonna check after that. It's not all three. Give it to Bowser. I don't know what he means by bad smell. Maybe it gives a status effect or something. Great guy. does. Oh, it, it just hits them all. Okay. That's good. Guess I should just focus on one of them. Turn or two.
Yeah, after uh, Shogi, uh, I played Nightmare Boy, uh, I'd say, no, I didn't end up beating it, uh, okay, he can't use abilities, uh, well, I'm not sure what we'll do. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's an indie Metroidvania, uh, yeah, I only played it for a couple hours, I uh, looks cool. Uh, it's got kind of a, I don't know, uh, gross, like, I don't know, demons and monsters kind of look. Uh, actually, it looks kind of like uh, the Dr. Franken game I played on the SNES. Uh, it's kind of that, like, Halloween-y nightmare stuff. Uh, it looks cool. Uh, I just found it's, I don't know, uh, fairly linear Metroidvania, which I don't really care for. Uh, you're really kind of stuck going where they, where the correct spot is to go next. There's not really any exploration, uh, so I didn't end up uh, playing through it all the way. But yeah, it was, I don't know, it was okay. I had it on my Switch for a long time. I think I got it, I don't know, soon after I got a Switch, because, you know, it was five bucks or whatever, but uh, I just recently played it. I wonder if this guy's related to Wario. Oh, it's another mini game thing. have to get a certain amount or uh okay I guess it's over. Oh. 
Okay, I just thought there might be something behind it. Alright, uh, I think I'm gonna finish for the day.